Hello everybody, welcome to week four of Aero BB. Uh, currently second in the table behind Eliod up against Tapioca King, who's had a pretty decent start, I think. Uh, you can't see from that. I guess you can see from here, right? Yeah, he's won, two, lost one. Uh, he's got five guards. He's got five mighty blows, one of which is a ta movement seven tackle pommer, so that's absolutely terrifying, obviously. Uh, is this one niggled? Okay, he's got to try and target him if possible. And he's got a dirty player as well. DP is a good skill. Brilliant. Uh, so, yeah, this is a pretty scary team. You know, very TV efficient. Doesn't have any TV wasted on a rubbish Mr. Throw. Because he hasn't got a Mr. Throw, all of his blitzers have got loads of skills. Brilliant to see. Brilliant to see a, a non Mr. Throw enjoyer. Correct. Playing Orcs completely correct. Categorically correctly. Um, <laughs> And then this is my team, which has got a lot of skills. The Witch Elf died. I probably should have appoed it, honestly. Blodge Step. Uh, well, Block Step, right, for the two skills she had. But she was on 29. So if she was just on 16, letting her die was probably fine. But on 29, I probably should have, you know, tried to keep her alive and had another roll at a skill. Um, only have 100k, so I couldn't replace her. But do have the four rerolls still. So still 2090 TV. Um, see, this could, be cr this could be tough, you know. This could be... This could be a very tough game. Everyone's getting so many inducements against me. <laughs> like, just so many. <laughs> Ridiculous amount of inducements, everybody. Farag, wizard, babe, and still 100k. <laughs> it's like insane. <laughs> Scrapper's sore head. But at least he hasn't got a bribe, eh? At least there's no bribe. So that's good. But I guess he's got loads of reserves, so he can foul. He can foul a lot with the reserves. Flip me. Varag. I don't think Varag is that good. But I guess it's yet another mighty blow for him. Oh god, what a terrifying team. So TV efficient. But hopefully can Dakar. Can Dakar uh Dakar this half. Wizard's a bit annoying obviously, but twenty one Minus AV, so I guess this, this 21 guy wants to try and do loads of completions. <laughs> I'm not sure about Scrapper Sawhead, like, I think probably he's a, a bribe would have been better for him. Get more value out of the DP. Super interesting. I might have to mute at some point, by the way. I'll, I'll let you know if I've got to mute because uh, I had serious problems yesterday, so uh, I might be. I might be super ill at some point, but if I am, <laughs> I'll tell you. Hello, Pedro. Should I leap surf Varag? <laughs> it's pretty fucking tempting. Holy 
shit. Holy shit, is it tempting to leap serve Varag. Why has he got this guy in the LOS? What the fuck? He's just making me fight him? What? I mean, I have to then, don't I? It's pretty fun that I can just fucking body him. Unless he gets, uh, you know. I think, man, I really wanted to just leap Sir Farag. Like, I would have leaped Sir Varag if he didn't just give me his fucking pommet to hit. Like, what? What? Maybe I still could leap serve Varag. Didn't, I didn't, I failed to type mid. <laughs> nice out, mid! Where'd, where'd you get it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What a start. So he could punch there, he could go there. No, I won't One, two, be. three, four, five, Until six. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. I really want to just leap surf out. A Viva pregnancy in years. It's just literally so good. Whoa, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Fimea. That is unbelievable, isn't it? A <laughs> Viva pregnancy in years. <laughs> unbelievable, but true. Hey. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Glorious! <laughs> Thank you very much, Fabio. Staying fantastic for 48 months. Unbelievable. I believe he is. Yes, Fabio, I believe he is. I could be wrong. He's certainly around in chat a lot. It's hard to keep up with exactly exactly who is and who isn't, isn't it? <laughs> some some I know are, and then some some like I'm pretty sure they are. But like, you know, I don't have a I don't have like a spreadsheet with who is and who isn't. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't a subscriber, that would have been somebody being an idiot indeed, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is going to get a dirty player, this guy. Like, I really want to pow him just so I could have followed to protect. Like, he is going to get he is going to get a gang foul on my killer. But I've already taken out his tackle pummel on turn one. So his tackle pummel is out on turn one. Varag's out for the drive on turn one. So I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Even if he badly hurts, if he badly hurts my killer, it's an okay trade. If he kills my killer, Glorious. it's pretty bad. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will Fwah. defend. I will defend. Fan Fox. Guess I need confirmation of non-idiot status. Fan Fox confirm non-idiot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Up until moments ago, you could have been one. But now, it's literally impossible to be an idiot. <laughs> Oh, only a push. Only a push. Say goodbye to your other blitzer, mate. Well, hey! <laughs> oh, God, this is glorious. So, like, obviously, if I dodge, I surf him. But what I could do is just block and then surf blitz him back here. No, I haven't got anyone to do that. Oh, okay. yeah. Safe moves first. Oh, God. I love Blip Ball. Oh, yeah. Safe moves first. Oh, diced. <laughs> Let's just go there. Where's my dodge guard guy? Oh, there. Fuck. Fuck, that's annoying. Oh, he's got tackle. Hmm. Okay, not the best. <laughs> I thought, should I do this with it being near the near the uh, near the sideline? But I mean, I can just re-roll the pickup next turn, can't I? Hello, Pogler. What happened was um, he set up his killer on the LOS, so uh, I pommed him and cast him, 
And because I'd pommed, he fouled my killer and got sent off. <laughs> so that was two for one. And then uh, also he set up Varag near the, uh, two away from the sideline. So my newly acquired leap, uh, which leaped over and surfed him. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Proud of your idiots and enjoying a waterfall of endless ads. Brilliant. <laughs> waterfall of the same ad over and over again. There you go. Hello, help. Yeah, it's been a pretty good dice so far, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. Like, obviously, getting the cars is amazing on his killer. And then, uh, and then the, the send off, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's unfortunate that I've exposed the guy who I wanted to get, you know, six completions with here, but never mind. I mean, he can get SPPs as well. But yeah, he's just... He's one d him! Shut up. Shut up! Yeah, the defence can be safely abandoned for him, I think, right now. Um... to remove orcs. Right. Uh, he can go up to here. He can go up to here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice work, Alan. Why'd you get it? <laughs> oh, glorious. Glorious and glorious. At least the tackler is just like a lino without mighty blow. Ugh, scumbag. Pound me, blodger. Diced. Use the body to prevent an assist. I mean, even though I couldn't get an assist there anyway. <laughs> Nah, he's not going. He's not going for the dodge fail in the self removal plan. It's normally a solid plan, on it, to be honest. Just brainlessly pile on. <laughs> Damn it! 
diced again. Yeah, strength bullying the orcs, yeah, right? With bloody so much guard. So many men down, and he, him with so, him so many men down, and me with so much guard and strength, I can actually, I can actually strength bully the orcs a bit, which is insane, isn't it? Absolutely mental. not very scared about him wizarding now because he's got um you know he's got so few players and edge three and movement it's not it's not gonna be good odds for him. Better for him to save the wizard and force through the score now, like force through the tie. Oh look at this <laughs> <laughs> An instant dodge fail. And the self removal. Oh boy, this is going. This is going all right, isn't it? This is actually going okay. I've had worse games than this, to be honest. Right. Can we surf this guy is the question. Push him to there, push him to there. No. I will punch him. Now he's in danger for future rights, that's good. Being able to just tee off on orcs is pretty fun, isn't it? Diced! Oh, again, it's next to the sideline. Fuck me. Never lucky. Never lucky. Most dice man in Blood Bowl. Because <laughs> it's not Blood Bowl 3, Plo! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> Nothing <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he's really got to do something with this guy, and he's completely screened. <laughs> he's completely screened from the rest of the team. So he's like, just 1D pows. <gasps> Instant 1D pow. I did want to put that guy next to him as well, right? So that he could, couldn't run away after the Blitz. But then I thought it's more important to get SPPs and then fail to get SPPs. Should have stood him up first. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, stop it. Okay. A blacklist dodge! <laughs> Not even gonna power, just there you go. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do when Dark Elves run wild on you? One, two, three, four. I don't want to like fumble and shit, right? One, two, three, I'm not doing the pass then. Sad. <laughs> Yes, jump up Dementor, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could also just score, right? Could just hand it off to him. Could just hand it off to him and get it this game. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I probably should just pass to him last time. Problem is, if you fireball right now, Big Chi Chi, it increases your chance of losing, right? The fireball, well, so, unless you get lucky and get removals, it reduces your chance of winning overall, because, um, because, like, he can use it on offense now, right? He can use it on offense to get the draw. He can use it on offense to get the draw right now. Um, so... It can be. I mean, he's got a he's got a good chance of the draw. He's got a chance of the draw. <laughs> okay, maybe not a good chance. He's got a chance of the draw. Diced. Yeah, maybe not a good chance, but he's got a chance of the draw.
question is, do I uh, like going up to twenty five is pretty good, right? But I mean, him just him getting the seventy six is, is worth trying for. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to the seventy six. I could have fouled. I've got a reserve that I haven't used, but I mean, he's gonna get. He's not gonna. Yeah, he's gonna get the other way. It was. I haven't turned him over. <laughs> it hasn't gone that well. <laughs> it hasn't gone that well. <laughs> Um, I messed it up. Now I have to make it look like I did it on purpose. I was going to mess it up a few more times to make it look like I was trolling, but I decided against it. Right, that's a level for the killer. Lovely. Oh my god, the removals are god tier. Uh, how fast is Scrapper Sawhead? Movement 8? Has he got sprint? I, I assume sprint, so he's movement 8. So movement 8 isn't a great one to... I think the strength roll, which is the best player now. It's easy to replace him, right? He just needs to get dodge. To be a fully functional member of society. And that was why I didn't... That's why I didn't apple the witch, because I thought I can just get a new one and, and get wrestle on her and she's basically finished. Whereas a rog... Lino is 16 SPP. Well, he's still, he's still 16. But like getting a Lino, he's just going to be a rookie forever. Whereas if I get a rookie Blitzer, he's dodge and he's. Yeah, I think that's okay. We'll put him in there. Once. <laughs> yes, it's it's a pretty ridiculous team. Yeah. <laughs> in made in like twenty odd games as well. It's pretty pretty crazy. A pretty crazy team. It's like it's definitely the best Dark Elf team I've ever had. And it's one of the best Dark Elf teams that I've ever seen. And it was just made so quickly as well. It's a very, very good team. <laughs> Does not need a multi block assassin. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, like, ev even having like a really good elf team, you can just get banged out and stuff, can't you? Is the it's kind of like the problem. Yeah, multi block assassin's really bad. I know it's like a bit of a meme. Has he got sidestep this guy or not? I mean, if he gets the, if he gets the, if he gets this fair enough, fair play, you know, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind losing to these ones. I could have set up to stop it, but again, like I'd almost rather he tried on it because he's he's pretty low odds to do it. He's pretty low odds to do it. That helps. He's pretty loyal to do it, and I'd kind of rather he went for it than banged out my players, wouldn't I? So. 
No, he doesn't have side steps. This looks a bit wrong. Then, because he's just making himself do an extra push, right? He's making himself do an extra push if he doesn't have side step, which doesn't look like it. He powered anyway. <laughs> Instant full pow. Oh, gets the push. Yeah, so he's already made himself do an extra push. Which didn't have to. And all freeze ball. Yeah, wrongish. I mean, it, it is wrong. It's unequivocally wrong. <laughs> it's still possible, but it's also wrong. Like, it could have been better. But this, it still works. It still works, but it could have been better. <laughs> it still works, but it could have been better. That's that's quite an acceptable thing to say. <laughs> prefers the challenge. <laughs> like anything but 100% optimal is incorrect. Like it's that 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 that's it, right? Like you know, at the end of the day. Isn't it? It can be very nitpicky and etc etc, but it just that like that is the nature of one turning, isn't it? There is like it's one of the kind of very rare occasions that there's a right and a wrong in Blood Bowl. There normally there normally really isn't a right and wrong in, in Blood Bowl things. Well, hey, but um, one turning there's pretty much always an absolutely correct way of doing it. I, you know, sometimes there's the question of should you even go for like a 4% chance when you could just uh, block and foul. And also there's the matter of um, <laughs> should you uh, <laughs> you know, the chance of getting your players injured and stuff. <laughs> if the old dodge fails and what have you. But, um, Scrapper getting sent off instantly was fun, wasn't it? There you go. He's made three fouls and got sent off in each one, I think. Oh no, just two. Did he have secret weapon anyway, so it didn't matter. I don't know if Scrapper's got secret weapon or not. Um, three, six, nine. He's down to ten players. <laughs> He's down to ten players. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, so good. Alright. <laughs> Ducker time! It's not good, is it? It's not good being outbashed. I mean, this is a this is a dicing. It happens sometimes. Happens sometimes in my favour. Both tacklers injured. Both fouls sent off. Oh god. Feels great to dice somebody. <laughs> Daka with Kemri. Yeah, I'd do a I'd do a Daka with Chaos. Developed Chaos as well. Chaos versus humans. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't score. It worked in that I escaped with like a nil-nil draw. But um, I didn't score from it. <laughs> Hello, augmented beard. Absolutely, I banged him. Yep. Uh, two cars, two send-offs versus nothing yet. He's got three mighty, four mighty blows still. Five mighty blows still. So he's still got loads of mighty blow. So very much an out of the woods. One, two, three, four, five guards still. So he's still got more guard, loads more mighty blow. Um, he's probably out strength now, right? Because he's a player down, which is three. And then he's got plus four, and I've got plus two. So he is out strengthed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty funny. P 
he did he? Oh, and he, he spread the LOS to get hits wherever I went. Dirty Dino. I could put in guarders, right? I could put in guarders in counter. Deep kick. If I put him on the back foot defensively, then uh, that obviously stops him teeing off on like blocks and fouls and everything. So it is quite, quite tempting to uh, mash in a bit here. It's really only needing one more block, right? These are getting hit, whatever happens. I quite, I quite like this. He's putting a lot of pressure on him. If he fails to pick up the ball. <laughs> if he fails to pick up the ball, this will be quite good. <laughs> wow, this has been this has been very lucky so far, obviously. <laughs> Even Dimmy would agree. <laughs> Like he can mash in here obviously to hit but then if he mashes in to hit he hasn't got the protection so and if he doesn't have the protection he loses the ball <laughs> so yeah it, it's tricky it's very tricky isn't it it's, I think this was the correct play to try and put a lot of pressure on and uh Obviously, you know, like if he hadn't caught it, if, if it had bounced even further away, then he could fail to pick up, had to use a reroll on it. Makes it even harder for him to link up with these guys. Like, well, he's got four free players. It's not. It's hard for him to protect the ball. Even having it already in hand, it's not easy. A bit of a pickle. Tea and crumpets. I can't even do an, an English accent. <laughs> well, an American version of an English accent. Tea and crumpets. <laughs> Hello, calcium. <laughs> Sean, man. <laughs> Sean, man, or Sean 18. <laughs> there's, a, there's a subtle difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. David Seaman. Do we go here? I think we go here, right? Sean Man TV. I don't know how good he is. But yeah, so that, that gave him the thing right up, right? If it had been two away, he couldn't have got it, right? Two, three, four, five, six, double G. If I couldn't have even got in there, but that, the catching the, catching the kick was very, very good for him. Hi, <laughs> Sean, man, much lower TV. Very good. <laughs> I did get both 
both guarders nailed by doing this. Oh, he didn't take the boat down. Glorious. Nerd. <laughs> Suck it, nerd! <laughs> <laughs> Dodge away with your orcs. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Right, we'll start with a blockless block. I can leave her on the sideline, right? He won't be able to. Uh, he won't be able to do anything. You motherfucker! You motherfucker! Have the guards for the assists here. Not great, obviously. Nice surf, where'd you get it, yeah? <laughs> Ask him. Ask him. I can't, you can't do that, can you? Exactly, similar. Hey, look, I've, I've had some rough dice in some of the other games. Not the last one, actually. The Kemri, Kemri game, I had the better of the dice. So... But there was some the season before had some had some shocking dice with this team. Like I know it sounds stupid to say because obviously the team's amazing, but like there have been some shocking dice for this team. Um, I'm just gonna push down the sideline here. Realise this one was blockless, diced. Not an idiot confirmed. <laughs> Man, that was sad not getting that surf, wasn't it? That was really sad not getting that surf. Cost me a reroll, didn't even get it. And, like, obviously, he's out of the way, and, like, wouldn't have been that good getting the surf, but still, you know, if I get the surf, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's, it's one less player for the subsequent turns. Or subsequent. I don't know if you've heard of Filthy Robot. He plays, uh, he plays Civilization and stuff like that. And he, he did a video and he said subsequent. And it'll never not make me laugh thinking of subsequent. Oh yes, come on, double one it, double one it, you beauty, you absolute beauty. Ah! Oh. I mean, he's he's already double one into self removal. <laughs> This, that was this Lyman, I think, was the double one into self, self cast. No, maybe not. Maybe, maybe you know, I mean, yeah, maybe that was. I think that was what happened. I think that was a double one into self cast. No reroll for the rest of this turn makes it very interesting. Super interesting, you might say. If you were Kalon deterred, 
diced calcium, diced. Comedy mega. This is tricky, isn't it? Very scary without rerolls now. Yeah, the Blood Bowl 3 code. This was a bit of an overextend here, wasn't it? From Tapioca King. Because he needed so he needed all these GFIs. And he kind of still just needs to do them without a reroll. Woof! Fails. So we just need an assist there and then can leap 2D in, right? How do we get an assist there? With a GFI. I mean, I think I've got to do it. I think I'll move her back first. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will Just defend. So I will defend. Just so I've got her deep. Stand him up. Stand him up. Ooh, what about this guy? Can he get there? No. Glorious Umblum, thank you very much. Staying fantastic for eight glorious months. Oh yeah. Right, put him on there. Ones. So this is a single two, a single one fails here. So I should probably uh, do these first. They've got a double one to fail. Let's. Mm -hmm. doesn't have guard, does he? I don't think he does. scoring range but he's in a little bit of a pickle a bit of a pickle very much in pickle pickle status. I get in the end that surf didn't matter much did it. He's not gonna do anything this turn. I mean might come in the next turn but maybe I shouldn't have uh, maybe I shouldn't re rolled it. And two. If he rolls pals he's alright. Bolts God damn it. That's disappointing isn't it?
Glorious. Interesting. No, I won't give in. Super interesting. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Must be going for the score this turn then, Hello. Sure. Hello, Satatoad. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 71 glorious months. That's nearly six years, isn't it? Flip me. <laughs> Flip me. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for everyone who subscribes because I barely stream anymore, do I? <laughs> I should keep doing this. You're right, I should. It's just hard, man. Like, it's just hard. Blood Bowl 3 is shit, isn't it? And Blood Bowl 2 is dead. I might do a Blood Bowl 3 run, you know. Because like, I, I like streaming. The funny thing is I like streaming. I do like streaming. But um, Blood Bowl 3 is really, 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 really bad. <laughs> here we go. Can he get the pals? He needs pals here because I can sidestep around. So, like, he, might, it's, he probably shouldn't have hit there, right? He probably just shouldn't have hit. Is what he should have done. He just shouldn't have hit. Because now I sidestep there, which makes it a 4-3 out. Whereas if he just doesn't hit, he just goes to the 3. Ah, oh, yeah, so he, he got them both down. He's probably better off just not punching at all. Honestly. Because if he, if he pushes... <laughs> if he pushes, I'm here and it's a 4-3. And he finally gets it. And makes it harder for himself. <laughs> Oh. Oops. <laughs> Oop for go. <laughs> Oop for go. Made himself a 4-3. Should have just taken the dodge, right? Should have just taken the dodge. Because he just had to power it. Had to power it or both down it. Which I thought after the first one, when he took the both down, you know, it was he'd realised that he had sidestep. But I guess he didn't. Four three two two. No problems. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've had some good dice in this game, but uh, you know, he used his wizard to score, right? And he's still got a chance of losing 2 1. Him not coming back is a little unfortunate. Um. But yeah, two re-rolls, plenty of turns. Should be alright, shouldn't it? Should be alright. Oh, Phineas North, it's not about that I couldn't what top 100. It's just, can I subject myself to the agony that is playing Blood Bowl 3? Or like, can I enjoy it? I mean, hopefully I'll enjoy it. Man, having Alan and Diggs is really weird because, like, obviously sometimes they do amazing and they both do amazing and you smash people. But when they do badly, they both do badly and you get no points at all. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. My <laughs> own <laughs> blood pass, bloody hell. You can, always, uh, you can always play against the AI, can't you, if you, if you care about the blood pass. Well, not not yet, Steve. <laughs> nope. I mean, I've just got to go for it again. I just literally have to.
Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then she's got a GFI. That's that's the worst thing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, she's gonna have to GFI away afterwards. But I can do it last thing. And uh, it's not terrible, is it? Man, I would really like to bring coaching for myself. Man, I mean, I've used the reroll on the surf. I definitely use the reroll on the surf, not on the GFI, but on the surf I use it. Which means I'm just not going to have the reroll on the. Uh, might not, might not even get to pick it up this turn. So get him back. That's safest and best. I could just uh seventy five percent it. The seventy five percent dodge. Then I'm more more likely to conserve my reroll, but obviously seventy five percent instead of eighty nine. Eighty Yeah, eighty nine. But then I've got the rerolls for the hit. I'm gonna do it like this. If I had three rerolls, I'd have done the leap. With three rerolls, I'd do the leap. But um, without, I was okay with just being a bit greedy. Like a 75% to serve Varag, right? Because the thing is, then I've got the reroll for the hit, haven't I? So it's really big having the rerolls for the hits. So even, even with three rerolls, there's an argument for. Um, There's an argument for the dodge in first. Like, it's just such a high payoff. Like, Varag's pretty good. Maybe I should have leaped. If I'd leaped, I would have dub sculled. <laughs> but the leap would have worked. But I mean, you know, the chance of the leap being better is like only 14%, right? There's only a 1 in 7 that the leap's better. And then when it is, you've used a reroll anyway, potentially. So, but then I guess it's only, by the same token, it's only 9% better to go for the, <laughs> to go for the, um, dodge. And you can't re-roll it. Hello, Tibbum. Burn. Is he gonna foul the witch elf? Looks like it, doesn't it? Another send off. <laughs> Another send off. Cancelled an assist right by on the sidestep there. I didn't want to sidestep there, but stops an assist. Right.
It's a little bit tricky because obviously I want to. <laughs> I obviously want to surf him. So if I blitz, I'm almost certain to get him. But on the other hand, I could blitz this guy. I think I've just blitzed, so... Four turns. Should be alright. Edge five's got the ball. I'm not going to do any passing. <laughs> I'm not going to farm any passes. I'm just going to try and score. The cage is quite open, but he's orcs. So, what's he going to do? <laughs> what's he going to do? Roll fours. <laughs> Roll fours and then 1D me without tackle. <laughs> Orcs are unfortunately not very good at attacking cages. So yeah, no, I'm not bothered. Not bothered about ball, ball protection that turn. Just wanted to, uh, just wanted to try and get that surf. Can surf him maybe next turn, right? like to switch and get away from Farag. He's got to jump up. Oh beautiful. Beautiful commitment from the from this one particularly, right? He's so far forward now he's out of the he's out of the drive this black hole. Oh this is here okay I thought this guy was here <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah you you were right then to I take it all back <laughs> I thought he's got it. You know he's got a four, four, three. I thought it's not open. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not open. <laughs> oh god! Hey, hey! Right. 
So we blitz this guy. Oh, I've got sidesteps, so I could just go on the sideline, couldn't I? I do quite like that, that you can just go on the sideline when you've got sidestep. He's got jump up. But I don't think that matters too much. This one go up, yeah. Hmm. That was pretty annoying. that I have to do the blockers hit. And I wanted to reroll, I didn't have to reroll it. But I wanted to reroll it. Maybe I shouldn't have. And one D the Black Hawk. Could do this because that's a really good place to get him. <laughs> I don't really want people to get hit for no reason, right? I guess I can just dodge away the as well. Right. So one reroll for three ten should be enough now. These guys run forward and are now completely fucked. Yeah, exactly, yeah, it's 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 bound to be. Plus, like, I mean, not just the money, it's not just the money of Space Marines, it's that they're not characters, are they? Do you know what I mean? Like, Space Marines have absolutely zero personality. So, like, how do you make a story involving Space Marines? You can't. Like, you just literally can't. So, so story-wise, it's got to be, it's got to be, um... Story-wise, it's got to be like something like an Inquisitor or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can have fights. Yeah. I mean, you can make a Marvel movie with Space Marines, of course. Do you know what I mean? You can have like, <laughs> you can make all Blood Angels, wise cracking, uh, <laughs> wise cracking, handsome men, but uh, you can't make like a story. <laughs> <laughs> out of Space Marines. <laughs> but you could certainly make a Marvel movie out of them. He could be a Primarch, yeah. Yeah. You can have a movie, but no story. But the good thing for Space Marine movies is... No movies have stories anymore. <laughs> 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 yeah.
Hey. Hey. Okay, first things first. I'll eat your brains. If anybody rem remembers that. Everyone just dodges away, I think. I don't need to punch anybody. So with that in mind... I foul him, don't I? Mmm... Oh, I killed him. <laughs> killed by a wrestler. <laughs> Block is a good skill killed by a wrestler. Absolute poetry. <laughs> Should have followed the good player to get them sent off, not a not a line or shouldn't I? That was stupid. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Four. Yeah, that was stupid fouling with him. I should have fouled with like this this strength up guy, I guess, to get him sent off. Maybe the move guy, no. Oh, no, I can't use the rookie to shield the good players. Stupid. I think they'll try and make them grey rather than explicitly evil, you know? Yeah, exactly. More like Starship's, like Starship's Troopers on the steroids. I mean, just literally remake Starship's Troopers, really, and call them Imperial Guard and you're sorted. <laughs> literally, just remake Starship Troopers, Imperial Guard, Tyranids, sorted. Absolutely sorted. This is turn 15. Best players here. Most likely to be blitzed. Foul, but we've got to run up this time. Oh, 
Christ. Indeed. The thing is, though, Fimey, you can't kill humans in, in movies, right? Killing humans is problematic in movies. That's why every, every Marvel movie has CGI armies of mindless beings that you can slaughter with impunity, right? That's... that's <laughs> mindless CGI monsters is, 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 what, is what all the baddies are, so... Phew. I know, I know. I mean, I know. Necrons, yeah, men in suits is okay, but they've, they've got to not be humans because then, then you know, you could be a bad person for killing you. Like, you've got to make them really evil if they're humans, you know. <laughs> ah, Kids are alright, though, aren't they? If they're, no, if they're Nurgle cultists, they're the good guys almost. <laughs> GG WP, I mean for all all zero turns you got to play. <laughs> got the touchdown anyway, got the breakaway and the bolt into the touchdown. But uh it was a bit of a comedy mega, wasn't it? Bit of a comedy mega that. The instant <laughs> the the tackle pommer on the LOS was not a good play. <laughs> <laughs> the tackle pommer on the LOS was not a well played moment. I mean, obviously, I got unbelievably lucky to punish him. Oh my god, losing money. Hey! So, could get the rookie witch elf now. Could get the rookie witch elf. Um, Varag took his MVP. <laughs> he gets 3 SPP. <laughs> 10, 18 SPP, not bad. Three comp only three completions. For how control I felt. I guess, I guess there were some failed ones, but still. Uh, ten away. I don't really want to score him on purpose. I guess if he gets another MVP he'll try and he'll try and get the thirty one, but it's a bit of an unfortunate MVP because just wrestle dodge is a bit unexciting, isn't it? But uh yeah, that was uh his armor was seventy two. And to be fair, I'm a broke, but then they just didn't get injured, did they? Was his his got his got cast? And uh, yeah, should have tried more passes, I guess. But uh, dodges were 83 in the end. Leaps were 66. So yeah, super. In oh, his GFIs were terrible, terrible, terrible. What were the uh, what were the block dice? Nineteen, nineteen, fourteen. Terrible. Thirty-two, twenty-eight, twenty-two. So pretty terrible actually. But uh, got pals with the uh, got the both downs. The, the worst were the both downs on the surfs. <laughs> it was a bit of a comedy, but like it doesn't look a comedy. It didn't. It what? Huh. So it didn't feel like overall like a comedy mega, right? But it was because of just the instant cars on his tackle pommel. Like, the instant Kaz, the turn one Kaz on a Tackle Pommer is just, like, insane, isn't it? And then surfing Varag as well on turn one, that just made the whole of the first half almost automatic. So that was pretty good. He's almost certainly going to take Jump Up. Uh, there's no need to take it straight away, so I won't take it straight away, but it's it's almost certainly Jump Up. Uh, because then he's Jump Up Tackle Pommer, right, which is insane. And uh, just exactly what I need to hunt... Eliod's Wood Elves. Top of the league now. Hey, because played more games. Good. <laughs> Good. Top of the league on games played. Uh, top of the league by far on, on TV. <laughs> 300 TV more than anyone else. Oh no, Sick as Eggs. Shit, Sick as Eggs is 1850. But uh, mostly 300. 300 on most people. 
Uh, I'm always really good finding me. I'm brilliant at play, getting my games played. It, it's other people who play me who stall and say, you know, they've got real lives and all this other bullshit. And then I get the loss somehow. But uh, I'm always on the ball with scheduling. Brilliant at scheduling, I am. <laughs> right, so there you go. That's the table. That's the result. Uh, you know, hopefully I can get top three, get a bribe. The, 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 the thing for this is top three. Top three, bribe? I said bribe, didn't I? Top three, get a buy. So uh, I think Elliot's very strong to get a buy. And uh, I think I've played some of the... Like, he's played some of the harder games and I've played some of the easier games. Uh, no no disrespect. But um, so it's going to be very tricky. I think it's still going to be very tricky. Like it, looks, like, it looks like I've got a good start. But it's... It's it's it is worse. I mean, it's worse anyway than Elliot's. But uh, like Chivite, it looks like he's got a terrible start, but he's already played me in Elliot's. So Chivite will definitely be roaring up there as the season goes on. So it'll be very interesting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.